Hello and welcome to Easy Cook with Clean Easy's award-winning chef, Nigel Smith. I'm Nicola Dixon and I'm here to see if Nigel can teach me, a complete beginner, how to cook. So, Nicola, you don't cook. Oh, I try, but um, I'm a busy professional and I'm a mum, and I think, like most mums, I really want to use fresh ingredients, but I have no time, so it's, it's a case of ready meals. Which, oh, I know. Don't use nothing. Shouldn't say that word. That. <laughs> well, this is the beauty about Easy Cook. Yeah. It's Easy Cook products which will make your food absolutely simple, using ingredients that are simple, great flavours, bring it together. And anybody who's a busy professional or mum, we're going to show today how easy that is. Come on then. Okay, this <laughs> is Pasta Magic. <laughs> And it's called Pasta Magic because it is magical how it cooks. There's no pans involved. And literally, it's just you put your pasta in boiling water and you leave it and then you can go and do other things, which is nice. Also very safe because you're not mm. watching the pan boiling over and you can leave it to one side. I love the thought that there might not be a pan. So this like is that. great. So, <laughs> so on, what do take do? the top off. And if you want to measure, uh, this is the pasta measure um, for spaghetti. But this is for one portion, two portions. Right. And the other thing about this is trying to test the pasta. You can in, taste it, ah, see how okay. it goes. Yeah. So it's really good for that. Mm. In goes the pasta, like so. And this is a thermal jacket on it, right. so it's on Velcro, so you can see the pasta in, mm -hmm. you then put the thermal jacket on. We need some boiling water, right. so I'll just get the kettle and pour the boiling water just over the top. Mm -hmm. Now you can sprinkle a little bit of salt in here if you want, or if you want to spice it up, you can a little bit of um, spices, turmeric, some saffron. Um, and just throw it in with the just water. Just throw it in right. with the water. The water will cook. Thermal jacket round it to keep all the heat in so the pasta will cook. That's on top. And this is the lid which has got an automatic sieve. Right. So you can drain it off. So you don't need a sieve, you Brilliant. just tip it down the sink, which mm -hmm. is good. Lid on. And then pop that on. And that'll take about 12, 15 minutes, depending on the thickness of the pasta. And again, you can use the pasta uh, measure it. just to check it. Best thing is, after a couple of minutes, give it a shake. Mm -hmm. and, and just so it starts to move around. Give that little shake. You can add a little bit of olive oil in if you want to as well, just so it gets some flavour through there. Right. Leave that to one side, safe as anything. That's amazing, so it really cooks the pasta perfectly. Leave it alone, done. What we've got to do is put some filling with it and some freshness into it. Mm -hmm. So this is the Easy Cut Onion and Veg Chopper, and it's called the Easy Cut because it's easy. Onions in the bottom that I've just peeled for you, yep. and all you've got to do is push down. Right. Easy as that. Stop. Okay, so then we take the bottom out, mm -hmm. and there you can see you've got perfect, finely chopped onion, mm. nice and clean, no mess. Yeah. Right, over to the stove right. to cook. Pat on nice and hot, mm -hmm. so turn the temperature up. A little bit of olive oil into this, and you'll see this is a very quick dish. Olive oil in. That's what it's about, speed for speed. me. Speed. Yep. Now, this is our garlic peeler. Right. Now, garlic peeler is normally metal. Yeah. This is very, very fantastic. What I want you to do is put that on there and just roll it forward. Right. Now, I usually uh, use a jar. <gasps> I know. Can't use jars. No, we want fresh garlic <laughs> right. in the easy garlic mm. peeler. Now, as you can see, as you're rolling it, the skin mm. is coming out. Okay, let's look at the garlic. Wow. Look, peel, no smell, nothing. Now, Brilliant. put the garlic in the oil to right. warm. Okay. So that's your garlic in. Your onions yep. in. Okay. That you've just chopped in. Wow, feel like a proper chef. Proper cooking. <laughs> now, if you can just Brilliant. give that a stir. Yes. And the onions will soften now with the garlic and the oil. Mm. And this is now the very healthy, because there's no cream in it, no butter, mm. it's just the olive oil. So I like the feel of this, by the way. Very yeah. soft, great spatula, yeah. great for dessert, great for cooking. And mm. the thing is, with the spatula, non-stick. So in pans, it won't scratch it. Sometimes wooden can scratch palette yeah. eyes. Whereas this, because it's non-stick, it'll mm. work fantastic. Now, in the dressing shaker, what I'd like to do is make a dressing for it. So we've got some chilli, if you could put some chilli right, in. Okay. Now, again, it depends how hot you want it. Mm -hmm. We're serving it with some seafood today. You could serve it with chicken, you could add asparagus, you could add char grilled veg. The pasta is great mm -hmm. with anything. Don't overcook the pasta, because if you overcook it, you'll increase the sugar content. Right. And obviously, that's not a good thing to mm -hmm. be doing. So what if you're a bit slow like me and you're not quite ready with the dressing? I can't believe you being slow, but I if, am. if you are... <laughs> Things with the um, pasta magic, you can drain it off and that stops it cooking. Ah, but it'll right. keep its heat in it while you do other things. So it works fantastically so for that. So you can't overcook it? You cannot overcook it. That's okay. why it's easy to cook. That's amazing. And you're saving on electricity by not having pans on. Too it's, good to be true. I know. And you'll see when it comes out, you'll be amazed. Okay. Now, with any dressing, you need some moisture, you need some liquid. So we're going to add a little bit of white wine. Right. 
from the measuring jug. I love this because I love salad dressings. Well, you see, this has got all different. So you've got creamy mm. vinaigrette on, you've got a Dijon mustard, you've got potato salad dressing. So it's already written for you. Mm. You just follow the recipes on the bottle. Yeah. And obviously, you can make great dressings. You can also use it for desserts and things like that. So mm. it, it's a great product. If you can add some fresh yes. coriander. And it's not like, wasting stuff, are you, I suppose, if you're making it? And you can make it in bulk and just leave it in the fridge. In. Uh, just a little bit, bit more, a bit more, yeah. Oh, yeah, fantastic, that's enough. And the spring onions. Mm -hmm. So we've got spring onions, chilli, coriander, mm -hmm. really great flavours in there. And then I'm going to add some lime juice. So this is just lime juice squeezed. Now you can add lemon juice if you want. You can use uh, a little bit of grapefruit juice. You just need some acidity in there. Mm -hmm. Or if you want, you can use a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar, white balsamic, mm -hmm. uh, or even just natural vinegar. So you want some acidity. And then if you can just give that a good shake. Right. Okay. And that will just marry the flavours all together. Gosh, that's so easy, isn't it? In the fridge, leave it. You can yep. bring it out whenever you want, and it'll stay absolutely fresh right. as anything. Okay. Now. Yeah, very nice. Check your onions and the garlic. Okay. And what we're going to do is we've got some fresh clams here. Um, now, again, mm. you can add mussels, you can add salmon. Yeah. Bring the clams. Chicken, people who don't eat fish. Absolutely, yeah. chicken can go in. Then I've got some crab meat, some mm. brown crab meat, just some crab. Very nice. Smells gorgeous, doesn't it? And you can smell the garlic, onions, the crab. And then this is your dressing. Right. If you pour that over the top. Yep. Yeah. I feel like I do this for a living, this cooking lark. So now you've got your white wine in there, you've got your oil, you've got mm -hmm. your chilies, everything flavours coming. And obviously with the spatula, it's mm. non-stick, you yeah. can give it a good stir. So you put the dressing in. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do, you've got a little bit of few more ingredients in here. I'm going right. to just swirl these around so I get all the ingredients out. Mm -hmm. What I like is I've got four or five in the fridge, multiple of them. So right. I've got my ah, Caesar okay. salad dressing, I've got my potato salad, I've got my vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. So any one I can go to yep. and I'm already made up. That's brilliant and you know exactly what's gone in it. That's the main thing. It's all really fresh and healthy, don't exactly. you? Exactly. You know, and for you who is busy, then they're already done in the fridge, you can do them the yeah, night before perfect. and just pull it out. Over to the pasta magic. Right. This has been now 12, 15 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll take the top off mm -hmm. and we'll taste and see. Now look how soft this is. And we can just take a piece. <laughs> it's cooked. Absolutely. Let me try this. I okay. don't believe you. Okay, you don't believe it? No. Okay. <laughs> Too good to be true. Okay, try a piece of that. No pans, no sieve. No. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's soft, mm. it's cooked, beautiful. Give that a stir with the easy cook spaghetti tester measurer, like so. Look at that, beautiful. Mm. And then put the lid back on and we're going to drain that off. So take that top bit off and just pour. That is simple, isn't it? So all the water comes out. You can tip that into your mix. Ready here. This is the best bit. Okay, now mix that together. <coughs> okay. Just need a little bit of salt and pepper okay. in there. Pinch of salt. Shake that pepper in. A bit of pepper, fantastic. Lovely. And look at it, you can see it absol looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? It looks so fresh as well, doesn't it? And the smell. smell. Mm. You know, <laughs> easy cooking. Yep. Time, four or five minutes, great. How about a dessert that complements this dish? This is creme fraiche crunch. So very healthy, we're going to use oat biscuits mm -hmm. and we're going to use brown bread. Okay. And you bake that in an oven on the easy cut flat baking tray. Right. Once it's all dried, you then blend it and then it ends up this lovely crunch mm -hmm. and it's just been blended in a blender. Have a taste of that. Okay. So this is the brown bread mm -hmm. and oats or oat biscuits. And, and that's just all? A, just a pinch of icing mm. sugar, just to give you that. It tastes very naughty. No butter in it. No. No butter in it. Now, what you do is you take creme fraiche mm -hmm. and you put it into a cloth. Right. So any type of cloth, tea towel, kitchen cloth, and you leave it to drain right. overnight. So you Gosh. tie it up. Didn't know that. So where would you where would you hang it? Well, you could hang that in the fridge. The reason is all this water comes out of it and it's the milk out of it and we want this dry mixture. Okay. Once it's hung or dried out overnight, what you do then is you end up with this lovely right. thick. Didn't know mixture. that about all the excess Everyone just tips yeah. it out right. and then starts working with it. Yeah. And the other tip here is you can make this 24 hours in advance, leave it mm -hmm. in the fridge. 
So you've got to add some sweetness to it now because right. it's very, very healthy, the creme fraiche, mm -hmm. but you need to add some flavour to it. So okay. using the icing sugar and flour duster, right. plenty in. Plenty in, okay. The other thing with this is you can use it for flour. Right. So you can store flour in it. You can use cocoa powder in it. Top of your cappuccino? Cappuccino on top like of that. you like yes, your Yes, I do. I love icing sugar. I mean, if you're a diabetic and you're watching what you want to mm -hmm. eat sweetness-wise, you can use the substitutes, low sugar right. powders, things like that right, into okay, it. Yeah. That's gone smooth like yeah, cream, you see. That's but just by adding the icing sugar there. Absolutely. Yep. Now, to that, we're going to add some flavouring. So this is some strawberries just being blended, uh, using again. the hand blender in that pause. Oh, that looks gorgeous. So you're it? now starting to add some great flavours yeah. to this. And I'm loving the, the feel of the spatula, I have to say. Is it mixing really, really yeah, well? Yeah, it's really pleasurable to do. Now, like that, it doesn't really look like a dessert. Mm. So we've got presentation rings. Okay, now which, this bit really excites me, I have to say. You like things like this, yeah. don't you? Now, look at this. Presentation ring. Yep. Two different sizes. This is the large one, you've got a smaller one. But it also comes with a press. Okay. So you can press things down. Great for desserts, which yep. you're going to do now, but also for hot dishes, yeah. potatoes. That real restaurant finish, that looks really expensive, doesn't it? Classy. Have a taste of this, see if it's got enough sugar in it. Oh, um, little monkey! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Come on, let me have a go. Oh, that, that is delicious. So could this, this could perhaps be like a, a breakfast starter, really, because it's got fruit and lots of healthy ingredients in it, hasn't it? You could have that with um, some cereal, you could have it with um, oh, just some heavenly. strawberries, some blueberries. A little bit more. Banana, <laughs> you, it's really healthy, mm. you know, just as it is. To be fair, it doesn't really look much, but when you put it in the presentation, oh, yeah. it, it'll come out absolutely super. Spring yeah. line. Now, right. just a little tip you can, if you wish to, yeah. have some of your crunch on the bottom. All right. So okay. just put a little bit of crunch if you wish to, you don't have to. We're going to put some on the bottom mm -hmm. and then sprinkle some on the top. I can't okay. believe how healthy that is because it tastes really unhealthy. It's delicious. Mm. Put your mixture on top. Right. Okay. This is where you see I am a total beginner. No, you're doing well. <laughs> Listen, the only downside with these spatulas, they're that good. Yeah. There's nothing in the bowl. So yeah. when you want that like, oh, with the children, you can have a lick. No licking. No <gasps> right, licking. Send it back. Okay, okay, pack it in as much as you can. But yeah. the great thing with this is, this is the presentation lid. Right. And all you do is push that on so it's in. Gives it that perfect like so. finish. And then all you do is round the top. That goes in the fridge for 24 hours now. Okay. Let that set. Perfect. Okay? Wow, very nice. So I'll leave them in the fridge overnight, mm -hmm. and then, as you can see here, they will set up nice. Now you can do, they come in a set of two, but you take the lid off, it just slides off so easy. So now we need to dress it. I've got some cranberries here. If you sprinkle some cranberries right, over the top. Okay. So this is just some fresh cranberries. Yep. You can do Very strawberries, nice. plums, apricots, grapes, it doesn't matter. And then if you can sprinkle with some of your crunch mm -hmm. over the top. It makes it sound so easy. Really healthy. Yeah. Simple. That's so you've got the textures of the softness with the crunchiness. Mm -hmm. And now the pasta's ready. Can right, we have a look okay. at the pasta? Yes, smells Now the clams device, will have opened. Look, at, look that. at that. <gasps> Very nice. Okay. Mm. If we can serve that in that nice. bowl there. Uh, okay. Okay. Look at that. Mmm. You can get everything out as well with that spatula, can't you? So easy. Clean. Yes. Less washing up. Less washing up, yes. So you've got Perfect. the crab, the nice, the pasta. Yeah. Now taste the pasta. You didn't believe the right. pasta no, would I cook. Didn't you taste that. Okay. Mmm. Great mm. flavour that in it. In, you know, the pasta, but it's cooked. Perfect. The texture is just gorgeous, yeah. It's and I know we put fish in, Very but nice. like we said, you can put charcoal peppers, anything mm. into it, you do exactly the same. Yeah. Make your dressing, bring your chicken or your fish, meat, whatever, and then mm. put the pasta in. Gorgeous. This is the dessert now, and we like fancy things. You we want do. the presentation, yeah. great presentation rings. We're going to present it a bit more, a little bit of coolie, okay, or your puree like that. And all you do is pull it through. Nice, you do okay. that. This is purely presentation. Mm, I like this. Like, okay. Turn, turn. Gosh, nice. it could be from your restaurant, Nigel, couldn't it? Who would have okay. known? I'd have done that. And then you sprinkle some of your crunch right in between. Ah, okay, yeah. So you've got the textures yeah. with the fruit. Mm. Gosh, that looks so professional, doesn't it? Now taste. <gasps> oh, must I? <laughs> it's a tough job, this one. It is. It's awful, isn't it? But you see how it holds it in the rings? It's, a big, yeah. it's not flopping out. That makes such a difference, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Will mm. you cook now? I certainly will, if it tastes and looks like that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> great pasta, great dessert. Perfect, yeah. I'd really like to thank you, Nigel. He's helped me make some fantastic dishes using all the EasyCook products. It's time now to hand you back to your EasyCook distributor.